up guys collector b here hope you guys are having a good day so we do have some stuff today nothing real crazy uh the swords have been kind of kind of empty kind of empty uh hopefully they're gonna start restocking i know a couple walmarts just did a little bit but i think there's gonna be some more stuff and same with target but we are gonna unbox some stuff for you guys today and i got a couple things to talk about so first thing i wanted to talk about so i am Still pretty new to this YouTube stuff. Uh, I've been doing this for, what, three months mm -hmm. now? Three months. It's been really fun. I really enjoy it. And you guys have been awesome. The comments are just awesome. You guys subscribing, likes, all that stuff. Really, really cool. I honestly didn't think I'd get this many views or subscribers so far. And I know I'm not some huge YouTube star, but... Uh, you know, I do this because I like to, uh, something me and my wife do, and all you guys supporting, really awesome. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure to... Subscribe! Yes, please subscribe, like. Again, we do a lot of videos every week, and we do a lot of unboxings and really cool stuff. So, second thing I wanted to talk about. So, Titans Season 3 came out on HBO Max. Yes, I was super excited. Obviously, you don't see any McFarlane stuff here, but I am a huge DC fan. And I'm not going to dive into Titans because I don't want to ruin it for anybody. But season three, so far, three episodes have come out. Really cool. If you haven't even watched season one or two, go watch them. They're on HBO Max. Awesome. There's a lot of stuff I hate about them. There's some really good stuff in them, though. So definitely check them out. But the reason why I brought up McFarlane is, man, I would love if they did a titans uh like series for figures it'd be so cool hawk and dove would be amazing i would love to get them um even the guy who plays nightwing in titans i would love to get him as nightwing or robin just i think they could do some really cool waves not really sure about the build of figures you could probably do a build a figure from somebody in season two i believe i think it was season two or season, season one, one actually but uh let me know what you guys think. If you guys watch Titans, what do you guys think about it? Do you think McFarlane should do some waves on it? Because I would buy quite a bit. I think it'd be really cool. There's some really good people in that show. So let me know what you think. Yay, nay, McFarlane, maybe somebody else. I mean, it's probably going to be McFarlane because he has DC license. But I, I would be all over it. So just wanted to get those two things out of the way. Go watch Titans, though. Really awesome. Just dropped three episodes so far. So uh let's let's just go into it so as you can see we've got some more pops here these are for my wife obviously um we do have this tiny tv which we'll get into this this is pretty cool then we've got some wrestling figures and then we've got a new alien figure was looking for naka casey and the new super shredder and a couple other things and just couldn't find it so i'm guessing we'll probably find some of that stuff this week like i said a lot of places are restocking and they're pretty bone dry right now so let's go ahead and get into it i'm gonna move this tiny tv back and i'm gonna move kane back here oh don't fall okay so if you guys have not seen suicide squad go watch it pretty decent uh we did find these three pops at walmart i believe some are exclusives, but these three are not exclusives. I think it's only Harley. Some of her different suits are exclusive. And um, Boomerang, Captain Boomerang is a Walmart exclusive, which I'm not really sure why they did him for this wave. But there's a couple others, but nothing crazy. We actually did see all of them, it's right? We way, saw yeah. two Harleys, these three, Bloodsport. Uh, what is John Cena's name? Uh, the... <laughs> just just, just um, whatever john cena you know can't see me um he was there as well and then we did see captain boomerang as well so these came out a couple days ago don't think they're gonna be hard to find the only one i think that's probably gonna be hard to find is king shark because we saw a couple of him and i haven't really seen him anymore so we are gonna pop these guys open so first one is polka dot man we had to get polka dot man Loved him from the movie, like I said. So, super cool. I do really like his design. Um, it see. says it on the back of the Peacemaker. Box. There <laughs> we go. That's what I know. I just realized that. So, Peacemaker. <clears throat> so, they did have him as well. But, 
What I really like about these boxes is they're not just like a regular pop box. They really have a really cool design on the side. So if you do keep your pops in box, cool. I keep some of mine in box, but most of them we open. Um, pretty awesome. So we are gonna pop him open though. And this is gonna go with my wife's collection, even though I really wanted Polka Dot Man and King Shark as well, but not mine, are they? Nope. Guess not. Ooh, Ooh he don't even have a peg hole. <laughs> He's gonna be interesting. I'm curious how well he stand. Oh, oh see, he is guy. gonna be a yeah, I don't know how he's going to stand. So there he is no. with me holding. He's going to be pretty tough to stand. There is no peg hole, so you can't really put a stand. I don't know what we're going to have to do with that. Let me see if I... Because usually their heads turn. Let me see if I turn it, maybe. Oh, Lord. That sucks. There you go. You're going to have to put him like that with his head totally turned. Just get him to stand. Just because if you guys see, he is kneeling... Uh, no peg holes on the legs or I mean the feet, but I do really like this. This is really mm -hmm. cool His design's really cool and I love that they gave him that little effect and I love his goggles So there is polka dot man. He's Pretty staring cool. at his mother <laughs> He is staring at his mother, right? <laughs> Where is she? Everywhere. <laughs> so again, check out Suicide Squad. It's not bad uh, So next we have Rat Catcher 2. Now we got these three because these three were our favorite from the movie. Um, I would say probably Polka Dot Man, Ratch Catcher 2, Ratch? Ratch. Rat Catcher 2, and then King Shark. Uh, definitely our favorites. Again, same with the box there. And then again on the side, there you go. Now, one thing I did think was kind of interesting is they did do her with her mask on. Um, you know, she doesn't wear her mask the whole movie. She wears it. Well, I'm not going to spoil it, but... Uh, she doesn't wear it very much. So I'm curious if they decide to bring out another pop with her face. Maybe. Maybe it'll be exclusive somewhere. I haven't seen anything about it anywhere. But, uh, you know, I do like her mask. It's pretty cool. And, of course, she has a peg hole. But, oh man, she's top heavy too. She comes with the star... Oh man, these just don't want to stand today. She comes with the star of the Suicide Squad right there. Sebastian. Sebastian. Which, again, go watch it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go ahead and spin her. She's not going to stand either. We're going to have to use a stand for her, which I He's so cute. I had a stand chilling somewhere, but maybe I don't. Oh gosh, I'm going to drop her. Yeah. I'll hold her. So there she is. Really cool. She's got the mask. She's got Sebastian in her hand. Uh, only thing I think would have been better is maybe if she had her, like, light thing in her hand. I did really want... I was kind of disappointed that McFarlane didn't make her part of the wave. Um, I think that... There you go. They can be kissing. Um, I would think that would have been really cool because she's... I really liked her as a character and you could have given her a mask. You could have given her a bunch of rats, but... He decided not to do her, so maybe wave two, but I don't know who else they're going to put in that. Maybe the weasel. I mean, I thought, yeah, <laughs> I thought the weasel died, but you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty cool. So next one we have, let's move these over. We're going to have to get a stand for her. King Shark. Now this isn't really King Shark. This is Baby Shark. I'm not doing it, though. I'm not doing the song because I don't want you guys to get it stuck in your head because that is one of the most annoying songs I've ever heard in my life. You guys know what I'm talking about. But, <clears throat> you know, we had to get him because I, I got my other two King Sharks. Now, I'm not going to bring out my other two King Sharks to scale with this because obviously, yeah, like I said, it's Baby Shark here. Uh, but I really kind of wanted them to make this pop, like, big size. I think it would have been... Well, there he goes. I really would have think it would have been really cool if they would have made him big size, but <laughs> he is. See, this is the one thing I don't like about Pops. Like, his arms don't even move. He don't move at all. Like, you can't turn his body. His arms don't move. You would think this arm could go up. Nope. Hopefully, he stands well. Uh, he stands <laughs> like a boss. So, there is King Shark. Interesting shorts because the Build-A-Figure from McFarlane and the... Uh, Chase one don't have that color shorts. I mean one of them has blue But it doesn't have that pattern on it and the other one's like a gray So it's kind of a mix of both shorts. 
I do like this pop though. He's very goofy looking. This is honestly <laughs> what you see when you watch Suicide Squad is this guy right here. And of course, I just wish his mouth was like open, you know? Yeah, instead of just smiling like that, mm -hmm. like actually make it open. But it's, you know, it's pops, it's guys. So, you know, it is what it is. But so there you go. <clears throat> All three of them found at Walmart. I believe you can find them everywhere else. They're not exclusives or anything. So, mm -hmm. Polka Dot Man, Rat Catcher 2, and King Shark. So, super excited to find those, though. Those were really cool. I saw them that, I saw that they came out with those, and I was like, oh, we're going to have to find those. And then, what, like the next day? Mm -hmm. Boom. There they well, were. Well, first we found Boomerang, like, 20 of him and i was like really yeah it's kind of weird that he's a walmart exclusive but there was like 20 of him and i don't understand why i don't know like if you wanted to get him from the first movie i get it but um whatever so let's go into the next thing next thing we have is this is very interesting it is the tiny tv uh who did we say who did we say made this basic fun tiny tv now I have a lot of buddies who've been looking for these. They are what they are, are actual TVs that work. So I mean, when I say that, they're not going to hook up to your internet and you can't, you know, play whatever you want on them. But they are real working TVs for your figures. So they do, I believe, scale really well with them. And they do have quite a bit. We actually walked into Walmart. They have a old school Batman one. We found that one first and then it looked like Walmart was restocking. So we hit it on the way home and bam, all they were all there. I'll show the picture right there. Uh, they had South Park, Friends, the old school Batman and Back to the Future. And the TVs are different. If you look at the back of the box, the old school Batman one is that old school TV and then you've kind of got like a newer TV and then you kind of almost got like a flat screen which I believe the friends one is the only one that is like a flat screen mm -hmm. really kind of interesting <clears throat> shows that they picked um I like I said I got a whole set for a buddy of mine I only wanted the South Park one um you know we are actually from Colorado so Shout out to South Park, and I love South Park as well. I'm not a huge fan of that old school Batman. Back to the Future is okay, and Friends. Ew. We, we're we not big Friends fans. Um, office over Friends all day, every day. So, but I did want to get one of them to see exactly how it scaled with stuff and to show you guys how cool these are. They should have made one for Seinfeld. <clears throat> Seinfeld yeah. would have been good. I honestly, what I'll say is if they make more of these, I really hope they do. A Seinfeld one would be good. Um, Batman animated series would be really cool. And the other one I think would be really cool is if they did a wrestling one. If they did WWE or WWF back in the day, that would have been really cool. And I definitely would have grabbed those. So, so you pop, oh Lord, okay. So we pop it out of the box like this. Now, what is nice, I do like the little background they give you. They are catered to the one you get. So that's cool. You get the South Park couch and everything. Um, what is nice about these, and I'm already going to give them a, a plus for this, is they give you the batteries already in. The TV takes, what did I say, two AAAs, three AAAs. I think three AAAs, and you get a real working remote, which we will test out. That also takes two AAAs, so instead of having to buy, you know, five AAAs for this, they give it all to you already in, which is really cool. So that's a huge plus for me, so I don't have to go buy that. So here is the remote. I'm surprised AAAs fit in there. Right. I don't think AAAs fit in there. I'm going to have to look at that again. Yeah. But there is the real working remote. So you do have the... What is that? Do, do, do the play, the power, the channel up and down, and the volume up and down. Really cool. We'll test that. Make sure it works. Okay. Pull that. I think this is where you put the batteries, but I... they're in there. It worked in store, so watch it not work now. <laughs> that would be actually kind of funny. You peel that off okay so first we'll just show the tv 
So here's the TV. Um, not like super old school. Like I said, the Batman one is. It's kind of your 90s standard TV, which I think that's what it says. It says 50 to 60s, and then you have a retro 70s to 80s, and then you have a millennial, which is 2010s to now. This one isn't really any of those. I believe that's supposed to be like the 70s to 80s, but if you look at the box, it doesn't it doesn't look like any of those. I know the Friends one is the millennial one, which is... Which doesn't make sense. No, I know. It doesn't, but... It is. I have seen it. So then on the side of the TV, you, you can do change the channels and volume on there. And then there is also on the back, you can kind of see it has like its fake hookups. And on the other side, you have the power and the volume. So let's see what we do here. All right. So there it is. What's on there right now? It's just... It's South Park. Okay. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. Ooh. Oh, that sounds terrible. Yeah, it does kind of sound terrible. But how does it look? Does it look good? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look bad for a tiny TV. It's kind of hard to see in the camera, but... <laughs> Polly Prissy. <laughs> so this is from season one of South Park. So you won't get a ton of new South Park. Oh my goodness. So... It changes its channels by itself, I'm guessing, when it's done. Yeah. Oh, man. I wonder if Randy's... Let's try the remote. Hold on. Yeah, it does work, so... <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> So, oh, Mr. Hanky, yes. <laughs> okay, so, and we powered it off. And there oh. it goes. So, pretty cool. I mean, you do get a lot of stuff. I'm not going to sit here and run through all of it. The remote does work very well. So, really cool. Uh, I will scale it to one of these guys I opened. It even scales It does scale well pretty good pop. with the pops. I mean, like, you put King Shark there, like, hey, he's watching TV. <laughs> so, it'd be cool if I could put the remote in his hand. The only thing is the remote is oh, huge. Oh, ginormous. Yeah. But the remote's going to be huge with these guys as well. So, really cool. I did want to pick this up. I've seen these going for stupid prices on eBay. I'm not really sure why. They are... What were they? 25? 25. Like 25 bucks. Okay. It's a working TV. They come with batteries. Not bad, but <clears throat> I've seen the Batman one on eBay for like $60. So again, just wait, be patient. I haven't seen these anywhere. And then we walked into Walmart and boom, they were all there. All, every single one. And they're still there. We checked there. Friday and they were still there today. <clears throat> that's so. true. The only one that was gone was the Batman. And that's because I bought both of them for people. So I mean, they still had, I think, two South Park, a couple Friends, and a couple Backs of the Future. Mm -hmm. So, just be patient. Don't go pay $60 for this little no. TV. Now, if it hooked up to your Wi-Fi and you could actually watch TV on it, I don't know You're why really you You're really gonna watch. watch that. This is literally like, like Michael Scott's TV. You know, flat like, screen. <laughs> I could sit here and watch this all day. So, but yeah, it's really cool. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I, I, I do like the South Park one. I do wish... I'm going to have to flip through it more because Randy is my favorite from South Park. And I really wish they had some a lot more of him, like a lot of his scenes on there. But, you know, so hopefully they'll make some new ones. Hopefully they'll make like a Batman animated series one. Like I said, that would be really cool. Maybe a wrestling one. But, you know, there it is. So let's go into the next thing. So next thing we've got, we'll leave the wrestlers for last. Um, I did show this in my last video, not the actual figure, but I showed you guys the picture. So this is where I keep seeing people finding NECA Casey and the shredder is with these three aliens, the Eskrima stick from Nightwing and what else is there? Oh, and those uh, mystery balls. Yeah. Those mystery balls of like horror and Marvel. So they have these three aliens, which we can show on the back. 
I didn't grab them the first time I saw them, but I like I told you guys in the last video, I did really like this purple one. The other two are okay. Um, this is the Razor Claws alien. The other two is the what is it? The Iraq, the Arachnoid alien, and the Chrysalis alien. Now. The arachnoid one kind of looks like a normal alien to me, and the Chrysalis one's jaw like goes really far out, but he just kind of looks funny to me. So I did want to grab this guy. I do like the coloring on this. This is ages 17 and up. Ooh, so don't buy this for your kids, even though I'm sure they probably have some alien stuff already. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna see what this is about. I'm not a huge alien predator collector. There is some that I do grab. But this one just looked really cool. I just, I decided to grab it. So these are, I've seen these all over though. These shouldn't be really hard for you guys to find. I've seen them at multiple Walmarts, even the Walmart by my house. This is actually where I picked it up. Usually, I mean, it gets new NECA stuff here and there, but it hasn't had new NECA stuff in quite a while. And it even had these, which is cool. So if you guys are looking for them, go check them out. Now, What's interesting is they will probably be on an end cap, is what I'll say. I've seen them at like three different places and they all started on the end cap and then they got put in the next section. So Or in the middle of the aisle that in was front weird. of yeah. the, electronics. the electronics. There was one yeah. where it was just really out front of the electronics. It made no sense to me, but whatever. But now they are actually back in the next section. So, here he is. Oh, wow, his claws are crazy, man. That's probably why he's called Razor Claws. Well, it's weird because he's called Razor Claws. It's not Razor. So, I was curious about this tail because it's like this in the box. It bends really well, and I didn't think when you could bend it that it would, like, stay. It does twist here, but it does stay pretty well. I'm surprised. Now, again, I know a lot of people say these alien figures snap out of box luckily again knock on wood i have not had that issue huh, that's weird his hand doesn't want to move like that do, do, do. okay i don't know how to deal with this hand though so there is the razor claws alien okay he's gonna stand like that Rah! so there he is i really like the coloring on this uh the claws are actually really really cool one thing is they don't i mean you could bend them kind of like the tail they can separate like that but you know they're probably not going to stay there's no articulation <clears throat> articulation in the claws but i do really like this i love the color scheme on it um the shininess of his head this doesn't move his jaw does open does this come out oh it does ah there we go that's even better so his jaw does open and his little what do you call that his tongue his his other mouth <laughs> his other mouth comes out but i do actually really like this one this one's a lot better than I thought it was going to mm -hmm. be, honestly. I really like the dome piece. It's really cool. I was curious if that it doesn't pop off or nothing. It might, but I don't want to break it. And then you've got the back. You've got his spikes and his long tail. And the tail, honestly, that was pretty good movement on the tail. I was pretty surprised about that. So, really cool, actually. I'm... I'm pretty excited. I might go back and get the other two. At least the arachnoid one. That one kind of has like a bluer color. Uh, maybe the... Whatever I said the other one was. I don't know. That one doesn't look as great to me. But I do really like this. He does swivel pretty good. Wow, he does swivel really good. Look at that. You can tell he pops up. I know, right? So um, he can bend his knees really well. Yeah, honestly not bad. The only complaint I would say... These are kind of Yankee, janky, Yankee, Yankee doodle, janky, um, because I mean, this is really, really tiny. So I'd be careful. You could probably snap that really easy, but it's weird. It's almost like, you know, this should be coming down, but you can't change this from his hand because there's no, 
Okay, they bend down, but that's about it. So that's kind of cool though. You can definitely bend these fingers all down to make him like that. That's not bad. Honestly, that's pretty cool. I don't know how I'm gonna pose him, but um, not bad. Honestly, a lot better than I thought. So there he is, Razor Claws Alien. I do really like those claws. Those are really yeah, cool. Yeah, he looks pretty good. He does. So we'll have to do some pictures with him. I think he'd make some good pictures for sure. But so there's that. So that was 30 at Walmart. Again, the other two are there too. Shouldn't be very hard for you guys to find. Pretty cool though. I do actually really like this. Looks a lot better out of the box. So let's go into the next thing. Okay, so I'm not opening this guy. So we're going to do him first. Found this. Well, let me go back. Let me go into this real quick. So I growing up, I growing up, when I was growing up, I loved WWF. I absolutely loved WWF. And if you are younger and you're like, what is WWF? World Wildlife Foundation? No. Wrestling was WWF back in the day. I'm sure most of you know that. But then they had to change to WWE because of the World Wildlife Foundation sued them and stuff like that. But I used to love WWF. I used to watch it all the time. I used to have a big, big collection of figures. I mean, the ring, tables, ladders, chairs, sledgehammers, trash cans, and a ton of figures. And, you know, as I was growing up through high school, I got rid of a lot of it. And, man, real big bummer. Um, I really wish I would have kept a lot of it. But I'm slowly starting to get into more of the wrestling again. But just kind of the older guys that I really liked. Kane, the Big Red Machine, is one of my favorite characters. I loved Kane. I make my wife watch old WWF Kane videos all the time. Annoys her like crazy, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely annoys her. But Kane was just a specimen, man. I mean, in when he was in this suit, too, he was just huge and crazy. But I'm not going to open this one. I pretty much got this figure. It's not the best figure. because I got it, though, because I used to have one like this when I was growing up in this suit and everything. And I loved it. This was also $10. I know these are not the best wrestling figures, but it was 10 bucks. So I was like, heck yeah. And obviously, I know we showed the back. They have the Rey Mysterio in all white. And then honestly, I don't care about any of those three because these are kind of new wrestlers. I don't watch wrestling now. It's so bad compared to where it was at back in the day. And my wife laughs because she just thinks it's bad in general. But it's, it's really bad now. But Kane was one of my favorites. We also live in Tennessee now. And he's the governor of Knoxville. So shout out to Kane. What a thug. But yeah, we're going to keep him in box. I am I like it. For 10 bucks. I was like, heck yeah. Let's get it. Let's bring me back to my childhood. So there he is. Like I said, though, I am trying to collect more here and there of some wrestling, but just certain guys. So we are going to unbox this next one, though. We've got... Cold Stone. Yes. Like my wife says, Cold Stone Creamery Austin. There he is, the inventor of, well, the inventor, <laughs> the, the guy who made Cold Stone the ice cream. No, we have Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. Now, this is the Stone Cold Steve Austin Ultimate. I love these Ultimates. These Ultimates are honestly what really got me back into starting to collect these. I do have the Edge Ultimate. And this is my second ultimate. I didn't realize that they came out with a lot of these. And I missed out on a lot of good people like Triple H and The Rock. And yeah, kind of a bummer because they're super expensive now. But they are they are really, really cool. So we found him at Target sitting there. And I was like, I ah, it's Stone Cold. I have to get Stone Cold. So I'm really hoping they make a cane ultimate maybe an undertaker ultimate they do have a kane and undertaker new figures coming out i don't know if they're gonna be ultimates though but i am looking forward to those but this was really cool i had to get it i do like on the box that it says his height and his weight um he's from victoria texas and has the six-time wwe champion so we are gonna pop him open this is gonna be my first ultimate that i am popping open and i am super excited like I said, I I don't watch wrestling anymore. Just doesn't do it for me anymore. Some of the some of the characters and everything now are just it's it's just dumb now to me. But 
I was such a big fan back in the day, man. I really wish I would have had kept a lot of my collection though because I had some really good stuff. I don't know how these boxes open either. There's tape all around it. So again, bear with me. This is kind of like the Jurassic Park figure. This is my first ultimate opening. Okay, so it should just, it's kind of like a coffin. Jeez, one more here. I ripped it. That's okay, this box kind of had a rip in it. Anyways, Ooh. awesome. So it opens up like a coffin. Not bad. I do really like these boxes though. The style of them are really cool. Even for it being kind of a weird shape, pretty cool. So here he is in all his glory. Mr. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now I know he's been releasing at Target. I don't know if he's going to be at Walmart. I only usually see Ultimates at Target. I did see the Ric Flair one. Woo! But I did not grab him. I was never a huge fan of Ric Flair, but these Ultimates are really cool. I mean, you can tell this this is a $30 figure. That cane is a $10 figure. That cane don't come with anything. This Stone Cold comes with a lot. He has a tattoo on his leg. Yeah, of Texas. Oh, I didn't know you that. You didn't know that? No. Yeah. Well, that's because you call him Cold Stone. <laughs> so, um, really cool. Let's, I don't even know where to begin. Let's pop it. So, first thing you have, oh, I even put a little plastic in there so it doesn't get flat. He's got his, what do you call it, his vest? Mm -hmm. I guess that's what you call it. He always used to wear this all the time. Really cool. I'm super happy that came with it because I just remember him being a badass. Oh, there we go again um walk into the ring with this stuff on really cool there we'll end up putting that on here what is this i don't really know what this is oh cool he comes with a t-shirt <laughs> that's really cool how are you supposed to get that on him? i don't know <laughs> he looks a little too buff for this t-shirt but that's really cool 316 and then you've got stone cold on the back really cool that's they just like i said these ultimates are awesome they give you quite a bit of stuff which is really cool so and that's cloth look at that thirty dollars and you get cloth yeah mcfarlane and i can't even get a cloth cape then he comes with his hat which is a snapback um with his skull on it which is really cool and he does come with three Three heads, which is cool. So you've got this serious head, serious, serious head <laughs> right there. And then you've kind of got his laughing head, which all I can hear right there is what? What? So again, if you watch wrestling, you know, really cool. So again, three heads. Awesome. And then you've got the WWE microphone, which is cool. We'll probably throw that in his hand. Again, see, and this is, this is my beat. Um, you know, I've, I've had some people comment like, well, you know, if you want that, they're going to, you know, raise price on stuff. Again, I will pay $30 for stuff like this. You're giving me and then set another, you got some fist hands. So, I mean, just give me all these accessories. These are great. These are really awesome. And this is why I think the Ultimates are just really cool because you do get a lot of stuff. For 30 bucks, I will do it. And then you get another set which is a pointer finger. The only thing I will say, which is kind of disappointing, they don't give him hands flipping the bird because that's stone cold. He should have had some hands flipping the bird, but you know, it is what it is. And then I love, love, love that he comes with this belt. And man, I haven't had a wrestling belt in so long. This is really well done. The Older style ones I used to have were not nearly as good as this, but they've done a really good job with the belts anyways. Even the older ones were okay, but this is really cool. And it's the old school blue style belt, which is awesome. That was one of my favorite belts right there. That's the World Heavyweight Championship. Awesome. That's the other thing with wrestling now. They've changed all the belts, and I'm not a huge fan of the belts. I mean, you don't even have some of the belts anymore, and... I don't know, kind of makes me mad. That's again why I don't really watch it. Is there something? I think there is. I don't want to scratch him. Right on his neck. I don't think I got it. But... Yeah, 
That's weird. What is that? Why is that around him? He's got a plastic piece around him. Watch, he's probably supposed to have it, and I tried to cut it. That doesn't make any sense. Again, bear with me. This is my first ultimate. I'm just going to cut it off. I don't know exactly what it is. just falls apart. He probably does. If he does, then that's ridiculous. I almost just stabbed him in the face with the scissors. Good thing I got alternate heads. That's weird. That was around him. I don't know if that was supposed to like hold him in. Didn't do a very good job. People are probably like, no, you just ruined him. So, wow. So this is Mattel, by the way. And Mattel does a lot of wrestling figures. Wow. I will say he is a lot more bendy than I thought he would be. <laughs> Let's put him in the pose. <clears throat> Does come with his boots. So there he is. There is Stone Cold. Now, he looks a little skinny to me, but that's probably so he can throw on, you know, some of his accessories and stuff like that. I do like that they gave him his knee brace because he did wear that knee brace all the time. Does have his chain on. I'm not a huge fan of the chain. He didn't wear it a lot. I mean, he did wear it, but I'll probably end up taking it off. But it's really good. And like my wife said, he does have his tattoo there. And then you've got the back. I mean, nothing real special about him because he just wears his knee pads, his brace, and his trunk, and his boots. But really cool. I think this face is pretty good. I don't know. I will probably... Let's do this. What's interesting is that... Yeah, there goes the chain. We're going to take off the chain. And you guys can see the chain. The chain doesn't really... It's not really a chain, though, like it is. But it looks like a Wonder Woman's lasso to me. Um, kind of weird, though. Like, these two face... Gosh, sorry. These two face sculpts are not much different. They're both kind of that laughing, you know, smirking look. I can't really understand. I am going to put the serious one on because he looks good with serious. And we are going to throw on this jacket because this was my favorite jacket he had on or his vest or whatever you want to call it. Wow, these arms bend like crazy. That's that's really cool. Oh, see, he looks so much better like that. And then, if you guys watched, let's put the belt on his shoulder. Okay. I do really like this. I'm definitely going to get some more ultimates. Like I said, I do have Edge. I don't have it open, and I think I'm going to leave it for now, but I did want to open this guy. Oh, I didn't get his head all the way on. There we go. And last thing, we'll get him his hat. Not last thing, and we'll get him the mic. Yes. See, this is... That's how you want Stone Cold. I love it. Much, much better. There is Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Rattlesnake. Awesome. Really, really cool. I love it. Uh, you can see how he scales with the TV. Not bad. I mean, that's pretty good. He could lift it up. Again, the remote is massive, though. But it's for your fingers, so I get it. You, you know, you have to use it. But really cool there. Um, you can see how he scales with the alien. He's not even scared, though. He's probably going to turn around and stunner him, you know? So really cool. I do really, really like this Stone Cold Ultimate. I think it is awesome. And I think if you are a wrestling fan and you want to get back into wrestling figures, you should go after the Ultimates. The Ultimates are really cool. They do have other figures that are decent. But um, so far, I am I am really happy with these Ultimates. They're awesome. So really cool. So we're really excited that we got this. The Alien is actually a lot better than I thought. And, you know, the Pops and the TV. I'll probably, you know, I'm not going to get the other ones of the TV. I'm, I'm fine with just the South Park one. But, you know, if you take pictures and stuff like that, 
it's cool. It's a cool little thing to have, like, as an accessory. Like, especially with Stone Cold. Like, look at that. Like, I'm sure Stone Cold likes South Park, don't you think? I bet Stone Cold likes South I don't know. I doubt it. He probably doesn't. You know, he likes beer and Texas. So, yeah. there we go. Okay. Let me turn this off. See, but a WWF one with this would be great. So, so there it is. So, again, nothing crazy today, but, uh, you know, I bet we find some stuff this week. And so, be on the lookout for these next videos coming out. We'll probably find some really good stuff. Hopefully, some McFarlane. We didn't find, we went to, what, four Walmarts today and yesterday? Not one single McFarlane figure? Yeah, no. Not one. So, I mean, I did see shriek at target and i don't know i'm not really a huge fan of that i like Batman beyond but not really him so i didn't pick him up and then we went to books a million yesterday and saw a lot of mcfarland but nothing new that i needed so we are looking for that armored dark side you know we're looking for that armored batman as well i want to see how that looks but um you know so it, it happens but we'll probably find some stuff this week and we'll do another video but honestly i will say go these are really good so i really like this guy so if you're on the fence about him maybe go check them out they're awesome and the pops you know the pops of the pops and for 10 bucks you can't beat the big red machine i mean you can't beat the big red machine anyways so there he is so i hope you guys like the video again like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think about the ultimate let me know what you guys think about the alien let me know what you guys think about this tv and what else would you guys like to see with these, you know, TVs or anything like that? And, yeah. So, thank you guys for coming. Thanks for all the support. Have a good rest of your weekend. And, as always... Oh, actually, you know what? We're Pause pause real quick. Two more things. Would you guys be interested in seeing some of my comic collection? I'm just curious. I may do that. I may not. Just kind of curious what you guys think. I do have quite a bit of comics. I wouldn't sit through and go through a ton of them, but I'd show you some of my favorites some of my collected so let me know what you guys think about that if you're interested let me know and also do you guys want to see my wife's collection she's got quite a pop collection and she's got some horror stuff so we're still kind of setting up her room she does have a room as well but let me know about that as well if you guys would like to see it maybe we'll do a little mini room tour of hers as well so comment below let me know what you think and again thanks for coming and as always collectors never stop collecting